So first of all, let's collectively thank the Department of Women and Child for organizing the Women's Day. We want to all of us collectively thank the Women and Child Department for organizing this function for us. Thank them by joining your hands. Also, let's clap for the Women Achievers who've been awarded. Let's clap for them. I'm also very happy that Swachta women have been recognized. Let's clap for Swachta women. Puducherry today is cleaner than many other cities in India because of Swachta and the municipal corporation workers. We thank them. While you and I sleep at night, these women work at night and clean the city for us. This is an exceptional city which does twice cleaning today. It does cleaning at night and it does it again in the forenoon. That is why the city is clean. <clears throat> and many tourists are congratulating Puducherry to be a comparatively, I'm saying comparatively, cleaner city. I want to share with you what are the strengths of Puducherry? What are the very strong plus points of Puducherry as a union territory? I want to share with you. I am able to compare for you more because I'm an outsider and insider. You are all insiders, but I'm an outsider and insider, and therefore I'm able to see comparatively the strengths of this union territory. Number one, it is much safer for women comparatively anywhere else. It's much safer. And the credit for this being safer goes to the society as a whole. The credit goes to its culture and its traditions. Number two, its literacy is very high compared to many other country, parts of the country. Third, what I've noticed is that most of the rural women and urban women f do find some work to do. They create work for themselves and they do work. <coughs> Fourth, I've noticed that most of the women who work, they, most of them spend their money on educating their children. Yesterday, at Raj Nivas, we have instituted an award called Puduwai Pen, means Puducherian woman. And we recognize the first woman in Puducherry for that award. And she was semi-literate, but by working hard, her son is a PhD and her daughter is a gold medalist. Another thing which I've seen amongst the women of Puducherry is that they're comparatively healthier. They are not fat, they're healthy. So I congratulate you for all this. I uh, now want to tell you what are the strengths of the Union Territory Administration. 
these are our strengths compared to many other states but this is very very special why i am telling you is that we need to be proud of what we have not what we don't have but what we have we need to know and be proud of them and celebrate and then remember to keep them the strengths of our union territories number 1 of which i have seen it has very good high quality family counseling centers these are led by very capable and qualified family counselors they were very well qualified and selected correctly that means any family which has a family issue can go to its near family counseling center it has very good team of protection officers your matter will get addressed the puducherry administration also has a very good pension system which is given by direct transfer which means money is going straight to your bank accounts there is no loss in in between third quality which i want you to take away from here which we should know we have is very good healthcare system it has dispensaries close by with medicines all this sponsored by both government of puducherry and substantially by government of india schemes it also has fourth it's a fourth quality and strength of puducherry it's its anganwadi system they look after the women's health care and child care very very well fifth i've already told you four things the fifth is we got very good women police officers women constables they are educated and qualified they were also very well selected we have a very good senior citizen pension scheme we also have widow pension scheme <clears throat> all going by direct transfer which means no money lost in transmission we have many other schemes by government of india and the government of puducherry by direct transfer which means it takes away any leakages in between you also have insurance schemes if you need to know you must know what are your other schemes which are available you also have life insurance schemes you also have mudra scheme if you are skilled you can go to the indian bank the lead bank and ask for loan and take help if you want but if you are skilled the bank will give you a loan to start your small enterprise you also have many skill development programs which means any one of you who wants to learn a skill can enroll in a skill development program which are cost free and instead you get an a stipend also so you want to know more go to the labor commissioners in employment exchange office and ask for information but you will be trained in a skill and even helped in being placed you also have excellent rural development programs where women are enrolled into self help groups by which they can earn from themselves yesterday woman whom we uh, rewarded is supervising hundreds of self help groups and earning for herself which means any woman under the panchayat level federations they can become members of the self help groups and earn for themselves and be skilled and we have very many special program for scheduled castes scheduled tribes and also now weaker sections of society why i've told you all this that you will use them only if you know about your strengths these are all of with puducherry government and the administration you just need to know and go to the concerned department if you need any help you can come go to any office and ask for help you can even come to rajnivas open house to ask for help we are available for you i only appeal to you to know these and use these services better now to the last part of my speech which is the future please so, listen to it carefully i request you to lead the puducherry and prepare yourself for the coming year lead how how will you lead i'll explain to you but try and understand how the year ahead the future you have this now what do you do with the year ahead i'll try and explain i thank the honorable minister and the secretary social welfare for giving me this opportunity of bringing you all together to tell you this program for the coming year i want you as mandated by the honorable supreme court of india you are now nearing local body elections local body elections means you will be electing your own leadership in rural areas and own grassroots leadership in urban areas unfortunately 
local body elections have not been held in Puducherry for the last 10 years. And because of no grassroots elections, we have lost Government India funds which are meant for rural bodies and the urban bodies. If we had them, we would have had more funding support from Government of India. So some of you, women of Puducherry, can aspire to become Panchayat members of the Panchayat, Sarpanchas and local body leaders. Puducherry administration and the Union Territory is duty bound to hold elections in a fixed time as directed by the Supreme Court of India. Therefore, I want you to think about it. Till we celebrate next year, Women's Year, by the time the year would have, could have belonged to women of Puducherry, in large number at grassroots democracy. So spread the word around. Spread the word around in villages and local bodies. Reach the, read the Panchayat Act. Reach the Panchayat laws so that you understand what our responsibilities will be. I request the Social Welfare Department to train these women, educate these women both in rural areas and urban areas and at least make them aware of the law. You have to participate and you have to lead. You have to go and vote and you also to lead. It the, now the ball is in the court of women themselves. And when you are at the grassroots, you will do your planning. You will plan for your village. You will plan for your road. You will plan for your school. You will plan for your tank desilting. You will plan as you want. You will plan your budget. This will empower the women of Puducherry. Empower all of you of women of Puducherry. When a woman is empowered, the whole family is empowered. Have you understood what I've said? Have you understood? That's why I said, you are all very bright women. You are literate women. You are exceptionally brilliant. So keep up, wait, and look out for the announcements and participate. And last message for you on this Women's Day is please play your roles. Play your roles as mothers, as homemakers, as daughters, and more. Make my last line. Listen to me carefully. Don't marry your women young allow them to study and learn to work. If she wants to study and to earn, allow her to study and earn. And make them marry only those men who will allow them to work. I have seen every girl child who's studying around wants to grow up to become self-reliant. Therefore, it's up to the us women, we the women, to make our girls brave and self-reliant and boys more responsible. That's my last message. Play your roles as mothers to see that your daughters become self-reliant and boys become responsible. I want to thank Sridhar for connecting me to you. And thank once again our Honorable Minister and Alice and the entire Department of Social Welfare for giving me the opportunity to communicate with you.